Heavenly Father, whose ashes will be united one of these days together with the body. But as Paul says, if in this life only we have hope, we are all in <coughs> to be pitied. So there has to be something, and there is something, as we have so aptly put this morning already, or earlier this afternoon. There is something beyond this life. <coughs> that is our heavenly home, that celestial city that we have had prepared for us by God. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, and I've already mentioned this already, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. We have that hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall by no means precede those who are asleep. And we've already talked about Mitzi being asleep in Jesus. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be called together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. And then Paul says, and I've already mentioned this already, we need to comfort one another with these words. This is as far as we can go with this. This old piece of clay goes back to the dust. We say our goodbyes and we prepare to meet her one of these days. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time that we've shared together today. Thank you for this beautiful person in this. And now, Father, I pray that none of us are to be pitied because we have that hope. Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Bless this family. Be especially close to them and may they draw near to you as well. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. And may the grace and love and peace and mercy of our Lord and Savior be with you always. Amen. Thank you.